Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to do a big video. I'm going to kind of explain and talk about all the current model Keurigs they make. So I've bought all these Keurigs with my own money. I bought some off Facebook Marketplace, some of them brand new. I've got reviews on all the current model Keurigs for the consumer. I don't have the, the industrial ones, the ones for the business and stuff. These are all just for the consumers. I've got detailed videos on every single one of these. What I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of walk through and explain each one and what, why you might want a certain one over another one and kind of explain the differences on all the current model Keurigs. So Keurig's been releasing quite a few new Keurigs lately. So this is as of September 20th, 2021. Okay, so let's start off with kind of the smallest ones. This is the K-Mini and the K-Mini Plus. So the K-Mini Plus is going to have a strong button where the K-Mini doesn't. This also, the water reservoir you can take off. This one you can't. So these are meant for, for portability. Um, the cord stores in there and you can just throw this in a backpack. Um, but unfortunately they are kind of expensive. So this one's $80, this one's $100. I, I, that seems kind of high for what they do. And you pretty much, whatever water you put in back here is what's gonna brew through the K-cup. So every time you gotta fill the water reservoir they do come in some really pretty colors, different, lots of different colors. Now we're on to the K Express Essentials. This is only available at Walmart. It comes in three different colors too. Now it's one of the cheap, it's the cheapest one out there right now, $55. Very nice. I like the brew you can select. It's got the ounces on the buttons. It's pretty well built. It's fast, it's quiet, it's brand new. It's got a water reservoir that you can put the water in and then you just press what you want to so you can fill it up and then you can do several brews before you have to fill it back up. This is kind of their older entry level. This is called the K-Compact. Comes in lots of several different colors. Typically only available at Walmart. This is kind of their loudest coffee maker they make. Um, it's, a, it's an older design and you can see that by from the buttons. So Instead of putting ounces on them, which I think works better, they just like small cup, big cup, you know. You gotta remember what how many ounces those are. Now, after you use it a while, yeah, you, you figure, you remember what it is. It's got this reservoir on the back. It's this hard plastic, um, kind of awkward, kind of big, you know. But it served its purpose. They sold a bunch of these. Very basic features, just an add water light. If we come over to this one, this one does have a D-scale light. And I want to talk about D-scale here in a little bit. This is the brand new K-Express. So this is a K-Express, but this has got the word essentials on it, which kind of goes with Walmart. This is just their K-Express. On the Keurig website, it goes for $70. This is $67. I think they're trying to, I think they might be discontinuing. I, I don't know that for sure, but... Again, this is $70. This is a very nice design. Um, you put the cake up in. Again, it's got the ounce buttons, but they start at eight ounce. I would have rather see them start at six, like this one starts at six, eight, 10. It's got an add water, descale light. It's got kind of a nice tank on the back. So out of these, this is my favorite. This is $55, it's hard to go wrong with that. This is just too loud, too old. This is nice and fancy, but I wish it started at six. Now we get into some little bit bigger, the K Slims. Last year, this was um, the Black Friday sale. These went on sale and they sold like hotcakes. Comes in a couple different colors, but they've recently come out with, so they've got the five needle, the single needle, which is the original, and this is the K Slim Plus Iced. They've got this over ice butt, which I really love. It's still just a single needle, but these just have eight, 10, and 12, and they've got a power button. They replaced the power button, which it just turns on when you open it up with this over ice button. If you brew over ice coffee, you're gonna want that over ice button because it brews it. It changes the temperature as it's going through the K cup and it lowers the temperature towards the end so it doesn't melt the ice as much. So they've got three models of these. So they're calling these, even though this has the five needles, 
This is the single needle. They're calling the model number K190. This is the model K191. Now, I'm still seeing quite a few of these, like at Walmart, the single needle. This multi-brew technology, I only saw on the Keurig website. I think this is going to be the model going forward. Again, I don't know that for sure. I'm just assuming. You know, with the five needles, I do think the coffee tastes a little better. Um, you don't get temperature control or a strong brew or anything. Forgot to mention, this one does do a strong brew. And again, these have got just basic features. Add water, descale, 8, 10, 12. And again, what's nice about the over ice button, it does six ounces instead through the K-cup, which is really nice. These have really nice water tanks on the back. They come off. You can add a water filter. Typically, your cheaper ones don't come with water filters. And as you get up into the higher priced ones, they start to come with water filters. And I've got videos. You can add water filters to all each and every one of these Keurig machines. They just take different. There's a short handle and a tall handle. So the K-Slims are just like they say. They're kind of slim. They have a water tank you can select. You know, I wish maybe they had like a six ounce button, but it, it works. I brew my coffees at eight ounce, so they work really well. Let's get into an oldie but goodie. This is the K Classic. Model number K50. So the price range on this one, I didn't go over prices on this one. So this is 120, this is around 80, and same with the new technology ones around. It's 100, but they've been putting it on sale for 80. So prices are kind of all over on these. The K, same with the K Classic. I bought this one used off of Amazon and it, it's in really good shape. It, it was just an open box. I don't think anybody used it for like two or three years and sent it back. I think somebody got it, tried it maybe once or twice, didn't like it. I got ended up getting this for about $45. So, but it retails for around a hundred, but it's typically on sale. Now it's got kind of an older design. Again, you go back to the buttons where it shows the cup sizes. Uh, I don't like that as much. It's got a power button, auto off. You can turn auto off on and on. Heating, descale, add water. You get into the older Keurigs, you start to, the process is different with the older Keurigs. You hear the water pump, you hear it heating, then you hear it brewing. You'd be surprised. These, you'll hear the water pump a little bit. You don't really hear the water heating up. Then it's coming out. These things are so much quicker than the older ones. Again, kind of that older design where that cup just another fail point, in my opinion, that hinge when that cup has to come out. The newer ones, it's stationary fixed. This is kind of how that looks. Same with the newer one here. Water tank's kind of awkward. You know, it's kind of built in, molded, hard to hold, you know, just not, just not ideal. But for its time, this was the best-selling Keurig for a very long time. Now we're on to the K-Select, model number K80. Retails for about 130. To me, this comes in some really pretty colors. This one, the colors are kind of shiny, kind of like a shiny red, shiny white. This one's a little more subdued. Um, I really never knew where this one fit in. I mean, they put a few more buttons sizes on it. You do have a strong brew where the K-Classic, you don't. So this was kind of like, the K-Select was always to me like the step up from the K-Classic. The water tank was pretty much the same, but you can see it from the front. That's kind of nice, but you can see that one too. We lift it up. You've got that old where this hinges out. To me, that's just, I've had those break. So to me, I like when that's fixed, but the standard single needle, single needle at the top. Again, the K-Classic pretty much the same. So this one did take up a little less room. It did look a little bit nicer. You had a few more butt, like I added one more brew size and the strong button. You still got the descale, add water, auto off. I don't think they sold quite as many of these, these because these were just a little bit more expensive, but it's a nice coffee maker. So I moved this K Elite down just because I wanted it next to this. So I feel like the K Elite model number K90 sells for $150. I feel like these were all kind of a progression. You know, this was kind of a basic one. 
This was a step up. The K Elite was a big step up. Lots of controls. Again, you've got the old fashioned kind of cut buttons. They gave you the first over the ice button. You can change the hot water. It's got a strong brew. It's got some settings, a display. Again, with that older way of where the cup comes out, but, and then you got the single needle up there. But to me, this was just a natural progression for their older coffee makers. This line, these right here seem a little old fashioned, but they are still really good coffee makers. And I think there's a ton of K Elites out there. I get a lot of questions on K Elites. The menus are kind of tricky and it's, you know, it's got a lot going on with it. But you're kind of back to the water tank is kind of, it's kind of old fashioned in my opinion. It's, it's molded to the side. It's a little awkward to hold, but again, that's nothing against these coffee makers. They're really nice. I just think there was a time form and they've kind of gone past this. Okay, so now we're gonna talk about the Case Supremes. This is kind of their newer line that they've progressively been making better. We've got the original Case Supreme, K910 model number. We've got the Case Supreme Plus and the all new Case Supreme Plus Smart. Yeah, the Case Supreme Plus is model number K920. This is just model K29. This is $200, this is around $190, and this is around $150. But you can find some pretty good deals on Amazon on this one. This is their older one. We start to get in, this is when we first saw the five needles. Multi-brew technology. They all have it, they all look identical. And then this is, I love these water tanks. So this is when they started to get into the water tank with a handle that you can take over to the sink, fill up, and put on. Then they just made it bigger. These two have the exact same water tank. That's a monster water tank that you've got a nice big handle. It sits level. It goes, it goes right there. That is awesome. I absolutely love those water tanks. These other water tanks just leave a lot to be desired. And again, the older line, they're kind of, it looks nice, but they're awkward to hold and ha handle. And most people fill them up with something else, but. So the K Supremes, uh, this one, they actually even allow you to, to move the water reservoir, which is kind of a neat feature. But this is their basic one. They give you six, eight, 10, 12 ounce. They've got the over ice button and they got a strong brew. This is a really good brewer. Then they up their game. So they let you change the strength. They give you three strengths, so I had to plug it in. They give you three strengths and three temperatures. Game changer. This, was a, this is a very nice. And they added a four ounce button. And it's got the over ice button. And it's got three, this is when they first introduced memory. So I can pick different strengths and temperatures and sizes and I can memorize it. So I could be one, somebody could be two and somebody else could be three. You just press your button. It memorizes what the strengths and sizes were. You just press the K button. Very nice. Then they started coming out with this metal finish. This is a metal handle. It just looks really nice. This one comes in a couple of different colors, but it's pretty much all just a like a general plastic feel. Again, you're just left with one strong button. No temperature changes. Temperature changing, strength changing. Then they just really upped their game with the Smart Brewer. I've got a lot of videos on this. You've got, I think, five or six strengths, I think six temperatures. It's five strengths, six temperatures. It connects to your smartphone or tablet. It's connected to Wi-Fi. And it also tells you what to brew it on. So when you put a K-cup in there, there's actually a little camera right in there. It takes a picture of the K-cup. It sends it up to Keurig. Keurig's and they tell it comes back and says, okay, this is the recommended brew. So check out my videos on that. This is a really fun coffee maker. Again, we've got four, six, eight, 10, 12. Pretty much the same here, four, six, eight, 10, 12. This has an over ice button. You can memorize, a, I think it's up to 10 different settings. It'll display the name of the setting. In your smartphone, you can tell it. You can type in your name and give it that. This is a metal finish, but it's kind of a, a different color, a little, little more modern. But you can see these case Supremes just look really nice. Okay, so we're gonna switch gears a little bit. Now we're getting in, into the specialty coffee makers. Now, 
I love, this is the K Cafe, absolutely love it. This is the K Latte. So the K Latte is model number K36. It's available only at Walmart. This is the K Cafe. I've got this nickel edition. It also comes in black. The nickel edition is model number K84. It retails for $200. The black one retails for about $180. But you can find some pretty good deals on these. So let's just start. I think they're discontinuing this. I, I haven't seen it at Walmart for a while. It's got a frother. Now, I don't like this frother. It's hard to clean um, because it's got this electrical connection on the bottom. It does an okay job. And, you know, this was $80 when it was at Walmart. So it was like half the price of this one. This is the machine to get. When you're wanting to do lattes or cappuccinos, the K-Cafe is the one to get. So this was pretty much like a K... Um, it looks just like a K-Compact. And they just added this, fro this little frother on the side. So we've got pretty much a K-Compact. They added this latte button. So when you put a coffee in here, it pretends to give you a, a, an espresso shot by running like four ounces through the K-Cup. It gives you a really concentrated coffee that you can put with your um, froth milk. And it does make a pretty decent drink. Um, I just thought the cleanup, when you compare it to this one, the cleanup with this one's just, it's not very good. But it does make a really good drink. It is half the price. So let's get to this one. I've got several videos. This is what kind of started it all for me with Keurig. Um, this one was just so interesting when it first came out. And this frother is one of the best on the market because you, it's just got a frothing thing. You can clean this so easy. And when you're frothing milk, cleaning is essential because it's just, it can be hard to clean. Your electrical connection's all that down here. You, you can't get water down here, but when you, when you froth your milk, you can froth it hot or cold. It'll heat it up. It'll do it cold. It's relatively quick. And then this over here is kind of like a standard Keurig. You've got the, where you put the cake up, it's got the single needle. I just think this one looks really sharp. Nice metal drip tray. I don't mind this reservoir because it has a handle. It seems a little old fashioned, but I actually don't mind it as much. Just because of that handle, it seemed pretty easy. So it's got this latte button. Latte and cappuccino. When you do the latte and cappuccino, it lights the shot light. And again, you'll press the K button. It runs a really concentrated um, coffee K cup, like four ounces through it, I think. And it gives you an esp a pretend espresso shot. They call it a coffee shot. Is it a true espresso? No. But man, you can make some really good drinks with this. And then you can treat it just like a coffee maker too. So you can hit the coffee button and you can do a 6, 8, 10, or 12 ounce. Just do a normal coffee. Some people even do six ounces for their drinks. Um, to me, that's a little too much coffee. I do like the espresso shot that this, this machine gives you. You know, I'm hoping maybe, you know, this is such a good machine. I'd, maybe they're going to um, make a new one. I, I'm just guessing, purely guessing, but it seems a little old. They could really make a new one because this frother is absolutely amazing. I mean, I absolutely love it. And you can make your drinks so quick. You know, a, a Starbucks salted caramel uh, latte, iced latte. Um, the drinks are just endless with this. It's just a really, really nice machine when you're wanting to make that type of drinks. Now, I've started to drink coffee more, so I've been getting in. I've been trying to use the K-Supreme Plus more smart. But, when man, when I want to make a specialty drink, um, this is the one to use. It can be expensive. The black one is exactly the same. It just doesn't look as stylish. So the black one, it's just more plastic. Where this is a metal handle. This is plastic. This is metal now. But um, the black one does, it is built exactly the same. It just looks a little different. So you can save some money. But sometimes this one, the nickel one, is on sale. So really hard to tell. Okay, so now we're on to the K-Duos. Big differences here. So we've got the K-Duo. Essentials available at Walmart. This is just the K Duo, nothing else. K Duo Plus. So the one at Walmart, the K Duo Essentials, is model number K5000. It retails for about $80, normally $100. The K Duo 
is model number K5100. It retails for about 150. And then this one on the end here, the K Duo Plus model number K5200 retails for $200. So the K Duo, they recently just came out with a silver edition. I don't think it's any different other than the color. So this is the K Duo Essentials, which they've got a gray one here that I bought. It was on clearance. I think they're doing away with this, but there's no difference other than the looks. So this one available at Walmart, um, again, it's got that word essentials on it. To me, it's just a pretty cheap coffee maker. It does a decent job, don't get me wrong, but it's got a lot of weak points in my opinion. It's got its glass carafe, so it's got a warming plate. It's gonna keep your coffee warm. And again, you can put coffee here. You can make a pot of coffee and you can do a cake up. Uh, not too impressed with the water reservoir, it's just kind of big and bulky and that hard plastic. This one's okay. I think they sell a lot of these. Again, you do the K, K cup on this side. Um, yeah, this I like this better for the filter basket. It just seems easier to, to use. This one I always thought was kind of a weak point. The display on this one's a little nicer. Um, here we, we can do eight, 10 or 12 cups or ounces. And here we can do six, eight, 10, 12. And that's important. If you want to do six cups of coffee, you can press the six or six ounces through a K cup. So it gives you a little more options. Then we get to the K Duo Plus. This is $200. So you do the K cup. This one was so odd to me when I first saw it. I'm like, how does it do two? But the K cup is hidden here in the back. Pretty neat. Put the K cup in. Love the water reservoir. This water reservoir is right along the lines with the K-Supremes. You lift it up, easy to fill up, sets right on there. Now, this is a stainless steel craft. So, they don't heat this. This is not heated. They're relying on this to keep the coffee warm. And then this is where you, you, you put the coffee. This is, this is a pretty nice design here. And all of this works really well. It's just, you gotta remember with the K-Duos, with the Keurigs, they've got a water pump. When you have a standard drip coffee maker, there's usually no moving parts. But with a Keurig coffee maker, you can hear a pump. So it heats the water, then a pump turns on and sends the water through the, through the coffee grounds. Now it makes a very good pot of coffee and a K-Cup. Here it comes out in two different spots. You've got the coffee comes out here and the K-Cup comes out right back here a little bit. But this one works very well. Again, this is a full 12, 12 cups carafe. And again, up here, you can program this to come on in the morning. Same with this one. You can program it to come on and fix you a pot of coffee. This one has no programming ability, but it's got a clock. You can program it to, um, it won't start a cake up, but you can program a coffee pot. Same with this one. You can program this to have a pot of coffee waiting for you in the morning, but not a cake up. It does have a strong button. Oh yeah, so is this one. This one has a strong button. So you can see the footprint on this one is so much nicer. This one's kind of big and bulky. They all fit under kitchen cabinets. This one um, fits under a kitchen cabinet, but I really like this one. You know, of course it's the more expensive one. You know, you would like to like the cheaper one better, but this one just has enough good features about it that I really do like it. So the K-Duos are kind of in a world of their own, you know. Um, you're really going to, if you want the coffee maker side, they do give you the option with the K-Cup. Back to the K-Supreme. So people ask me what my current, what do I use the most? It's the K-Supreme Plus Smart. I just really like it. It's kind of fun to work with. It's fun to see what it's doing. Um, and I think it brews a really nice cup of coffee. With those temperatures and strengths, you can really dial in what you want. But again, it is $200. It is more expensive. But... When the season changes, you know, I'm going to be starting to make lattes and cappuccinos. This one's going to get a lot of work out. You know, back to the front, I really recommend this one for entry level. If you're thinking of just starting to get into coffee with K-Cups, this is $54. It's a very nice coffee maker. Um, it's very fast. It's just, it's just a really nice coffee maker. This one I think is going away. This one's nice, but it's just a little more expensive than that one. The case slims are very nice for entry level too. Again, I, these are nice. You can find good deals on these. The K Elite still a really good workhorse. 
So I've got Descale videos on all of these coffee makers. Now let's talk Descale. So in the old days, kind of the older coffee makers, there's no Descale light. So you just had to kind of keep up on it. Um, there's a heating element inside there that could get some mineral buildup on it. And if you've got really hard water, your coffee could not taste as good, or if it's not heating up, or if your coffee maker is really loud, those are all signs it's time to descale. But they started putting these descale lights on. Now the newer ones, they're counting your brews. So there's a circuit in there that's after 250 brews, they're automatically lighting that light. And then you have to put the machine into a descale mode in order to get the light to go out. The old days, uh, let me look. So this one, like this has got a descale light. This is the case select or K classic, I'm sorry. And same with the case select, it's got a descale light. So they would light that light after, um, after you had mineral buildup on the inside. There was some technology that would monitor the inside of it. And when the mineral buildup got bad, it would light the light. Then you, you would just run the descale solution through it or the vinegar. And then hopefully the light would go out. There was no descale mode you put the machine in. Same with the K Elite. But the K Slims, they've started this. They've got a descale light. It comes on after so many brews, whether the machine's dirty or not. And the only way to get the light to go out is to put it into descale mode. And same with the K Supremes. They're exactly the same way. They've got it, they'll tell you to descale. And the only way to get the light to go out is to um, put it in descale mode. And I've got videos on how to do all of that. So the case limbs, K minis, you know, these would be good for traveling. Um, maybe a college dorm. T to me, this one's not much bigger, but these are definitely the smallest Keurigs. So if space is a concern, these would be good choices, but I definitely like this one. So again, they still sell the classic Select Elite. Uh, if you can find good deals on them, they're good coffee makers, in my opinion. The Supremes are just kind of replacing these and the Slims. If I had to have a K-Duo, it's the K-Duo Plus. Absolutely love that. I used it for a long time. I loved it. And I definitely will be using the K-Cafe a lot. Um, this, is, this is really my go-to machine for making lattes and cappuccinos. It's just so quick. And cleanup is just so easy. And then coffee is going to be a, one of the K-Supremes. You know, the K-Supreme Plus I had for a while. And then when the Smart came out, I, I really like the Smart Brewer. So again, not sure what they're going to put on sale. They may even be releasing more coffee makers. They've released three coffee makers within the last six months. And there's not much fanfare about it. They just kind of, like this one just kind of showed up on the website. This one just kind of showed up on the website, the Over Ice. Um, not sure which one. They're, last year, like I said, they put the case slim. On, they really discounted it for uh, Black Friday, so they sold a bunch of those. They went really quick on Amazon. So as soon as they get a new, as soon as they release a new Keurig, I buy it. I buy it with my own money. I review it. I show you how to descale it. I show you how to use a reusable K cup. So I just recently passed uh, 10,000 subscribers. Thanks everybody for your support. I couldn't have done it without everybody. Um, the fans are leaving comments below. They're telling me what drinks kind of to make, what they're just being so helpful. Everybody's being so helpful with giving me recommendations on what to do, what to buy. You know, I had no idea about this one, this Kate, this iced, um, a viewer left a comment and said, Hey, there's a new, uh, iced K slim coming out. Sure enough. I looked it up, found it, bought it. So thanks everybody for your support. Everybody's been really helpful. Uh, my coffee journey started about four years ago. Never drank a cup of coffee. Found it very intimidating, um, really intimidating actually. Uh, didn't know who to ask because people that drink coffee, they just, they drink it all their life and they really don't know how to explain it or they just like, oh, I just throw some coffee in and brew it. Well, man, when I first started, I didn't even know where to put the coffee, the filter, anything. So I just wanted to share my journey and, sh and I wanted to help people. That's the main thing. Um, I do coffee maker reviews also. And that's just to help. So I'll buy a coffee maker. I'll buy one off of uh, Facebook Marketplace or I'll find one at, at Goodwill. Bring it home, clean it up, show you how to program it, show you how to descale it, show you how to brew a pot of coffee with it. That's the goal of my of channel with Just a Dead videos. It's to help people with coffee makers. The Keurigs have been kind of tricky. That's kind of why with the descale, my most popular video is how to descale a K-Supreme right now. The K-Supreme is just... 
that descale lights lights up and there's not much direction or information on how to descale it and you got to put it into a certain mode you got to run the mode all the way through it's kind of tricky so that was the intent of my video is just to help people through that process because people lo I love the Keurigs you know Keurig I read a news article they sold three three million Keurigs last year that's a lot of Keurigs so thanks again, everybody, for your support. Um, again, I am an Amazon affiliate. If you do see a link for an Amazon product, uh, the products don't cost you anymore, but I do get a little bit of money from when people click on it. It does help defer some of the costs. Again, I buy all these products. About half of these, no, I'd say about a third of these I bought brand new. The other third, I just picked up Facebook Marketplace. Um, used, I found some at a yard sale, found some at Goodwill. Um, they can clean up pretty good. So leave comments down below if there's a certain video you want to see made. If I'm missing something on a certain machine, let me know. Um, if there's a comparison you want to see between two models of Keurigs. And again, if there's a new model of Keurig that comes out, I'm going to get it. And I might get into the industrial ones. Those are pretty expensive. I've been holding off on those. Those get into pretty... There's kind of some industrial ones that are at offices and stuff. I've stayed away from those right now just because they're so expensive. But maybe if I can find a used one or something, I might get into that. But right now, if there's a, a new model Keurig that comes out, I'm going to buy it and I'm going to review it. Thanks, everybody, for your support. And if you could, please like and subscribe.